Hey guys, it's Cole or Colin the Puppets here, bringing you a 45 and 4 game on Sharpshooter. Now, I don't know if you guys play Sharpshooter. I know a lot of bigger uh, YouTubers have been talking about it. It's a great way to rank up, and I've been playing it quite a bit, especially through Double XP. It's a great. Um, this is a lot of kills. I mean, I'm, I've researched it on YouTube. I'm gonna be safe to say that this is the highest scoring Sharpshooter on. Uh, on Black Ops 2 at the moment. Um, I mean, 45 kills, it's a 5 minute game. 45 and 4, there's no kill streaks, and you use the most retarded guns I've ever seen, you know, like, but look at the spawns too, like, that guy just spawned right here. So, uh, I'm gonna talk about the gameplay. I mean, there's not really much to explain because everything comes with you, like, you get the perks as you get kills, you get toughness first, then lightweight, then dexterity, and then after so many kills, you get double XP. So, the objective of the game is to have the most points in the end, kills worth 10, headshots worth double, uh, and then you get double score at, once you've gotten so many kills. So for you to win this game, what you want to do is, like I said, how the spawns are so sporadic, uh, you want to control an area. If you've spawned somewhere, it's like a lot of people say know the spawns. Well, not everybody knows the spawns, and especially on here, it's hard because there's lots of spawns. So you want to control one area, and if you've spawned somewhere, you know that's a spawn so watch that area uh, you'll see w at one point so there's like the weapons just cycle he's got a what is that a cap 40 those that's an automatic pistol or whatever that that is uh, so what you want to do is control an area that your gun will be good for you got a pistol don't go rushing out into the middle and expect to kill people that are in buildings waiting for you aimed in you know what I mean so what you want to do is control a central area that has a lot of traffic. So this has the spawns. There's two spawns outside this door. Uh, that side and that side where you just aimed both sides. And then to the left and the right. So to the left and right right now. And then tons of other spawns on the other side. So uh, you got tons of traffic coming through here. Especially if somebody sees you doing good. I know whenever I see somebody doing good I'll make my way to try to kill that guy so I don't have as much competition you know and their streak because if you get on double points for every kill you get everybody else has to get two to catch up to you I mean that's a huge advantage so like okay there he dies I believe after so long he basically goes flawless so halfway through the game so he dies he goes on a little death streak here I think he dies once more and then goes flawless for the rest of the game so that's basically what you want to do. Don't go rushing out and thinking that it's like multiplayer where you want to rush and get a, get a couple kills and then die. And then rush and get a couple kills and die. This you want to play more conservative. Basically what Black Ops is, is playing conservative. So there he ranks up and he's he's a fairly high level in this game I think. So so there's he's got the SMR now which is still like you, you can get lucky with guns. Sometimes you'll get really retarded ones. Sometimes you'll get like... Uh, War, uh, death machines or war machines which are pretty cool so I believe after this point I think he's died the four times so uh, it's flawless gameplay from now on um, so what you want to do is if there's somebody's AFK or not paying attention go for the headshot because it is worth double points so that's of course but uh, of course a lot better um, but the way that this is worth so much points is the metals and the gun unlocks that you get so you get bloodthirsty right revenge see all these medals that you're getting every kill basically double kill so there's the war machine which is beast beastly in this game mode like there you go it takes one shot to kill somebody anywhere near close to them which is severely overpowered but helped them out because, I mean it's the luck of the draw basically on what kinda what kinda gun you get so like I said, you want to get on double points and basically just rack. That's the way you're going to rank up the fastest other than multiplayer. It's a five minute game and I mean when I play this I can average or in a 10 minute domination game I'll average about 10,000 XP say. In this I can easily break 15,000 in each game and especially on double XP you can have no problem getting 30, 40, even 50,000 XP in a five minute game and I've even heard of a 80,000. Like, that's unreal XP. That's just ranking up like nuts. I mean, that was on double XP, but still, like, for a five minute game, if you can do that consistently, you'll have no problem getting to 10th prestige very, very fast. Uh, I also want to say I'm starting a new series. I just did the first episode. It's called, like, Only Use 
only use certain guns. I forget what the actual name is, but uh, me and a couple other people just take really bad guns or bad setups and try to win a game of Team Deathmatch. So what we did today was a TAC 45. I mean, it's it's a hard, especially when you're going against tryhards that are using some machine guns. So uh, I'll be uploading that later, so be sure to wait for that. So there's the game, uh, 45 and 4 with 890 score, which is absolutely unreal. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the The video will be in the featured slot that you're seeing right now. So if you want to go check that out, go ahead.